Hello, B Team Tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger with me, Blue Ankylo. So, uh, as much as I hate to say it, uh, turns out like Frog and uh, Luca and Robo sort of became the B Team over the course of this, the game and the Let's Play, and you know, Chrono Marl and Ayla stole most of the show. But uh, we're going to bring them in here for the next dungeon. And uh, just to give you a quick view, we're going to show off this champion's badge a little bit more because it's pretty amazing. Uh, Luca, with her turbo shot, does help a lot for making her valuable. And Robo, um, well, he's got a piece of leather stuck on him that makes him uh, run around a little bit faster, of course. But uh, he still has pretty low speed, all things considered. Um, so what I'm going to do is use up some of my final speed tabs on him. Sorry for the little cut there, let's keep going. So what was I saying? Speed tabs? Yeah, I got three left. It's not quite enough to get Robo maxed out. Um, well, it's actually quite a lot lower than that. We still need like four more to actually get him to max. But um, as, as long as he's got that little bit of, uh, of leather on him, he can uh, move a little bit quicker. And uh, same thing for Luca. Theoretically, you could uh, give her three more, but maybe you should hold off a little bit for that. Alright, so I still have that one magic capsule. I'll probably give that to Chrono, but um, that'll be that. Okay, so Robo is uh, 2 MP shy of Max. He's definitely the slowest character to, to max his MP. And um, other than that, everyone's looking pretty strong, right? I believe your attack maxes out at 255 as well, depending on what your weapon strength is. So, yeah, Ayla's already maxed out her attack strength. Chrono is one point away. Anyway, let's uh, let's get to work here. So we need to travel through time to 2300 AD, I believe. And this is the final vortex we have access to. Maybe there'll be another one later. We'll see. Where was it anyway? Uh, I never remember where stuff is in 2300 AD. This place is so bleak, I just, I don't like coming here. Aha! So it's hidden down by, uh, Robo's bonus dungeon. Alright. Let's get to work. Okay. There we go. Figured it out. Dimensional Vortex, number three! So, let's get started here. Oh yeah, one last thing uh, before we get in there. I forgot to show you guys. The techs! What, what dual techs do we have access to? Uh, so... Frog Luca seem to have pretty awesome dual techs. Um, the good news is Frog Robo does have a mass healing, which is nice. I don't think, in generally, Robo's dual techs are a little bit weak. Um, and then Luca Robo, I don't know. I, I don't remember how good Double Bomb is. But I know like Fire Punch and Fire Tackle kind of work like Fire Sword 1 and 2. So in that case, it's probably fine. Luca seems to generally be quite strong for um, decks like that. So let me try out uh, Double Bomb. Oh, that's right. It's one of these... That's... Robo just ruins all the good double techs, doesn't he? Well, I, these enemies will be super weak anyway, so nothing to worry about. So just like the other dimensional vortexes, the first few screens will just be... Um, Areas we've been to before, although sometimes they sneak in one or two um, sort of new areas. But there's sort of a random selection here, and you don't, you never know what you're gonna get. So we're back in the cave between Medina and uh, actually, you know what would probably work pretty well. Um, I think this cave you had to use magic the first time through. Uh, but between Medina and. Uh, I forget all the names of the villages, but you know the cave I'm talking about, right? Right right beside Melchior's house. Pretty early game, right after you learn magic. They try to get you to use magic in here. It was a good time. Magus' castle, good stuff. So I don't think Robo's actually had an attack yet, but... He should actually have a pretty high physical attack. Um, 
One of his few perks is he has pretty good, generally speaking, attack power and defense. Let's see what he can do here. It's probably not as good as Frog's. <laughs> Plus, Frog gets the crit, like, every second time. Frog's just too good. I, I do like bringing Frog. I honestly say my... My typical optimal party is Chrono Frog Ayla. That's still probably my favorite. Um, oh yeah, we should be able to do... Uh, oh, we can't quite hit everything with that. Tell you what, we'll have Frog Flare. Um, I, I do feel like that's generally the best party for me. But uh, for the Let's Play, you know, I like bringing... Wow! That's our first time seeing 9,999. So there you go, we hit the damage cap. One round of applause, thank you very much. Just needed to use a really strong magic on <laughs> weak enemies and we were set. Um, what about... Yeah, so this is just a dumb attack. Way too expensive for such little value. Electrocute's fine though. I think I said that I figured the damage, ex the damage output of that um, was just a bit lower than um, Lucas Flare and Portal's Luminaire. I think. Yeah, damage cap. 9,000 damage right now. It was over 9,000, but I didn't even really make the joke, so. That's okay, that, uh, that's an old joke. That's like 10 years old, right? When did, when did, uh, it's over 9,000? When did that video, that's like before YouTube was even a thing, right? Like. So, so far back. So this room at least, I remember... I can remember the path through, I can skip... Yeah, like... All the fights. I wonder if you could have gone into the... I'll have to double check with my walkthrough. I wonder if you actually could have gone through the pendant room to get some treasure. Oh dear. I might have missed something there actually now that I think about it. Well, I'll just have a look at it while these guys kill everything for you. Uh, let's see. Items. That was the future area. Oh, we're not killing these guys anymore. Kill! Hurry up. So that was in, like, not Hecarin Cave. Temporal Research Lab? Is that where we are? Uh-huh. No, no. This is actually... Okay, there is a future area that has stuff in it. Uh, just not that one, I guess. Sorry, because these areas are so random, it's hard to really follow a guide and make sure you don't miss anything. Let's, uh... Still useless. There we go, this will work. I wish that the self-targeting techs weren't so weak, but uh, they just never hit what you need them to hit, I feel. But yeah, this this whole dungeon, the, these dungeons, they're tricky because uh, I don't think you're even guaranteed to get all the maps that have the treasure on them like we saw earlier with the... Angel's Tiara, which I probably should have given to Luca now that I think about it. I could give her some auto haste, that's probably... Alright, fire, I forgot about this. These guys have so much defense that even late game, the like end of the game, they can actually survive a hit. The hammer guys. It's kinda cool. Alright, let me uh, quickly, because I totally forgot about that. Let's uh, switch over the Prismatic Helm. Only the women can wear it. It does drop her defense a tiny bit, but uh, auto haste is pretty cool. I guess Frog, does he? Uh, because he's got. Well, you could go with a haste helm. It's hard to say in this party which would be better. Getting attacks twice as often is pretty strong, but the Master's Crown is quite nice. I believe it's 25% damage bonus, just flat. Ah, we'll go with auto-haste for now. 
Because I'm pretty sure those damage bonuses don't apply to dual attacks. Probably. Not like we need the extra 25% damage anyway. Just going faster will save us more time, I'm sure. Alright, well maybe we didn't get the map that I needed. So, I might have to come back to here off camera and sort of, uh, grind away until we get lucky. There's, uh, there's an area that we need to get, uh, Actually, there's like three really good weapons in this dungeon. But maybe it's still yet to come, I don't know. Maybe this is it! Sounds kind of like a temporal research lab. Can we just check what the area is called? It's the temporal research lab, guys. Cool. So maybe I should click the computer. Oh, I can't click those. Never mind. So the first time we had a, a cold mountain, an icy mountain. The second time we had a volcano. This time we get a, uh, what well, kind of looks like the inside of the Blackbird, but it is just a, a lab from the future. Alright, the Director of Research ought to have some security lock for these code. Writing in codes and writing it backwards. So you remember all of those, like, button codes, L-A-R-A, X-A-B-Y? That's what I'm expecting, except perhaps in uh, backwards order, just to be tricky. Oh, I have to kill this thing. Oh, I sort of remember this area from um, way back in the day now. Um, yeah, I sort of remember these. Let's, let's try a dual tip. Robotic body slam. So yeah, there's a bunch of these areas. Yeah, okay. Try to get to the corners if possible, I think. Security lock release code, L-L-A-B. But probably the other way around to say ball. I like things that are round, ha ha ha. And I bet you that's a switch that will open up these little, like we'll be able to step on that tile to hit the switch once we've triggered that code. So, how do we get to the top left? By fighting some more eyeballs? Let's just see Red Needle, because we don't use that too often. I mean, we don't use dual text involving Luca very often, so that's it. End of sentence. <laughs> it's nice to bring the alternate team, honestly. Okay, well, once I go through that door, the enemies will respawn in this area, so... Let's finish exploring this part first. Now these are like electric charging stations maybe or oh. Okay, so I can't enter any codes here. But um that's clearly part of the trick. So let's see, um, let's see what Fire Tackle can do. Is it as good as the Fire Sword? Or, well, you know what I mean. Actually, that did do a little bit more damage, so that's good. Alright, uh, I see. Um, maybe I want to go back, actually. I feel like this might be the way forward. <laughs> also, I saw that treasure chest. 50,000 G's? I... I'm pretty sure we have to finish this area to get some uh, cool items. So we'll go to the top left and then we'll go to the top right. Probably don't need. Well, the 
question is, do we actually just need to use tech to hit him, basically? His defense goes up every time you try to hit him, and he gets a counterattack when you successfully hit him? Maybe not. A cheap fire punch, lovely. Will that do, sir? If Frog could just get a crit, though, that would be a uh, that'd be a pretty quick way to kill those guys. All right. What's going on in here? Intrusion! Intrusion! Oh, man. Uh... No, don't, don't do that. Come on, guys. Well, looks like we have to kill some robots. Prototypes. Well, I'm glad we brought, uh, Robo, because clearly this is back in his, uh, wheelhouse, you know? Really tough, okay. Quite strong against physical. Bitch, the Falcon Strike would have killed him in one shot. Alright, well. Okay, that's. Oh, that just leads us to this door, okay. So. How do I. Oh, they're. I just couldn't see him. I got spotted before I even saw these guys. This is a little stealth thing here. Okay. That's not too bad, but it's not fair when you get spotted before you can even see the guys you're supposed to be hiding from. <laughs> I should probably go back down, though, to that area we fell into to see if there's anything I missed. I'm not sure how to do this one. Maybe I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Uh, come on, game. Oh, okay. I'm supposed to input it after the ding dong. I was, I was trying to put it in too early. Hey, well, I just started with the wrong button there. That's fine. It's cool. At least I think I know what to do now. There we go. Easy! Just B-A-L-L, -L, but remember what button B is, and then you'll have a much easier time. Alright, we have some success. Kind of cool little area, though. Not much to do back here. Okay, let's go see what uh, that door opened up. Wonder if we can get uh, below these guys too. Yeah, you can just sneak right by them. So I still haven't gotten past that laser wire. That? Okay. I bet you... I bet you getting knocked down in different spots will get you different places that probably get you different items. I just got a feeling. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. It looks like you just land here in the middle every time, maybe.
Alright, new strat. Frog Flare, activate! Not bad, not bad. It didn't kill them! Ow! Double ultimate tech and it didn't even get a kill. These, these might be some of the strongest, like, normal enemies in the fight. All game This didn't like HP, maybe not an offense, but... Alright. I guess there's nothing else in here. I was thinking I want to explore this area a little better, but it looks like it's empty anyway. So, if the lasers never go away... Wait, what's going on now? Unregistered administrator? Luca, this is not good. Just jump over the lasers. Who could it be? Oh, look! It's the rest of the team! Yay! Thanks, guys! Look, it's my regular team! Isn't that awesome? <laughs> I'm not gonna bother re-equipping stuff, but you could switch stuff around probably. I'm sure we'll be fine. Let's go, Thunder Chomp. The best way to kill the robot is to light hit hit Ayla with a lightning bolt and then have her bite us. That's more like it. Alright. So, what do we do over here? I like the friendly ding dong. Oh, teleporters. Everyone loves a teleporting puzzle maze. Ah, uh, eeny meeny miny mo. Let's go left. It. I wonder how many of those are in here. That's sneaky though, because it mixes in with the teleporters. Okay, gotta keep my eyes open. Just click A everywhere. Oh wait! Oh right, that okay. So we teleported okay. So don't go left at the switch. Because that'll just lead you back to the beginning. It did lead us to a capsule, so do it once, I guess. Okay, that just led us straight back. There's only one way to go, then. Huh. Okay. I'm assuming the one past the robot is the correct one. And then... Could be either way, I don't know. Uh, looks pretty good. That was pretty successful. Oh, come on, not again. These robots just don't give me a break. Playing the serious music, even. Alright, you know what? Just for fun, we'll triple tech it. Oh. So it absorbs shadow. I wonder if it means it takes bonus damage from lightning. Maybe that's why a Thunder Chomp did so well. Alright, level 2 alert! If an evil chancellor pops out of here, I'm going to be really upset. Ooh, that did not do very good damage at all. A 
right. Well, you know what always works? <laughs> it's... It's the broken spell! There you go. It's probably a pretty good fight for Chrono, because I think all the enemies are weak to lightning. On the other hand, it's also a good fight for Falcon Strike, because Falcon Strike always works. Remember I told you it would probably kill those guys in one hit? Even though the line bomb with Frog and Luke is pretty good, it's still not as good as the Falcon Strike. And I'd be willing to bet Luminaire will just crush these guys. Fare thee well, Robos. Oh! Okay. Oh, that's right! And also, I forgot about that, too. Marl's bow ignores huge defense anyway. But Shock does seem to reduce their defense. Like a dinosaur. Iron Maiden, eh? Hey? I wonder if he can steal anything. Nope. I don't think there's anything to steal in, in the regular part of this dungeon. Well, that's pretty obnoxious. Counter Osmos, eh? Well, you know what counterattacks mean. Now, if this heals him, I'm gonna be a little, like, angry. Okay, no, we're fine. Looks like he doesn't counter attacks or something like that. It's pretty cool when, um, Marl's regular attack actually does more damage than a critical from Ayla. Alright, well, we're running out of NP here. Thanks to the Osmos. We can go with a, uh... Tell you what. Let the girls do an attack. And then we'll use some ether. I don't know how strong... I mean, this guy's probably almost dead, but... We might as well heal up anyway. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Probably almost dead. Fatal error. Uh-oh. This is not the intelligent team. <laughs> Chrono, who never speaks, Ayla, who's never seen anything like this, and Marl, who... Well... Looks like she managed. Alright, back to our A team. The lasers seem to be shut off. Well, now we can go this way. I still wonder if I should have gone to the forest all. You can't even see me! Alright, more robots. Thank you. So just trying to look at where the, uh... Ah, uh, what am I trying to say? Where the, uh... The treasure is, because we haven't found anything good, and I'm wondering if I should go back into the, um... The forest area. Let's get out of here carefully. Um, can we just go straight back to the forest? Yeah, I'm gonna go check the forest now because I feel like that's the secret area more than this. We're also gonna start speeding through this because, uh, you know, I don't want this episode to go on forever and we're kind of slowing down here a bit. There we go. Good. 
Good enough. Once you've killed one floating eyeball, I'm sure you've killed all of them. You've seen it all. Okay, so checking for treasure here. When I first opened this area, I was thinking this might be like the way forward, but... Now I'm thinking this is the key to rare weapons. Apocalypse arm, there's one. So, this is, generally speaking, everyone's favorite uh, robo weapon. Now, it doesn't deal a ton of damage on baseline, but crits deal max damage. So, we'll roll this for a while. Um, I'm not a huge fan of crit type builds in general. I like to think of crits as a bonus rather than a, a, a viable strat to rely on. It's just like, oh, you got a critical, that's nice, a little bit extra damage, sure. But when you're like, not doing normal damage until you get a crit, that's generally not what I figure is a great idea. Good, so that's one of the main things I was looking for in here. In case I like, leave the area or something, but yeah, you can't actually go back. Okay. So this is just a slightly easy to miss little side section. Fair enough. What else is in here that we need? There's still like two more really good treasures. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, there's a really cool armor and one more weapon. And I don't want to miss it. Where are they? Sorry, just a second, everybody. Where is it? Second team. Alright, so we should be getting one of them to the left. And then where's the other one? Left of the lasers is what I'm trying to say. Where's the other one? Doesn't even say. Okay, so much for my walkthrough. <sighs> Unreliable. Nice relaxing music though, can't argue with that. Alright, so back up to the left, top left, maybe finish up the map on our way through. I think I missed the tile. Alright, those guys are kind of annoying. Ah, no! Have to go all the way around, this is terrible! I wasn't looking at the map. Alright, so it's up, up, left, up. Don't go three ups. There we go. Ah! <laughs> These enemies are kind of annoying. You get it? They're kind of annoying. Alright, so now I gotta be careful and sneak past the robots. Don't let them knock you off. They can only ever see your lead character, in case you're wondering. General rule of old school RPGs, and most video games in general, I guess. Alright, good. New area. Oh, good. Immediately electrocuted. <laughs> there also was that switch on the bottom left that I was thinking we should go back and check. I don't know if that was actually correct or not. I forgot about that until just now when I saw those little red pictures. Oh, is it actually the same as what I thought was the boss last time where I had the fancy music? It is the same thing. Alright. go with, uh, what my strongest attack here is, um, well, Frog Flare, sure, but, uh, 
Let's see what Fire Tackle does. And then Frog, you know. Healing? But yeah, I prefer not to have him Osmos all of our MP away again. That actually didn't heal up as much as I would like, you know, only 240. Frog's magic growth is really not amazing, unfortunately. Let's see if Red Needle's worth it. I know it's kind of a low-level dual tech, but maybe it'll work. Eh, light damage. Let's try another one. Unfortunately, no triple tech for these three, so... Fine then, bring it on, frog fair time. We'll see if heal beam's better than heal. Oh, ne never mind. We'll see about that later. Alright. See, I wonder if these things... These ones you can walk on, the little floor tiles. run right into the lightning. Oh, now we're gonna fight two. I think we're gonna Frog Flare our way through this one. Well, Line Bomb would probably work, but Frog Flare seems to be superior. So remember, the Heal spell was healing about 250. Let's see if Heal Beam is better. I'm pretty sure Robo has a lower magic stat, but I think this, this tech is a bit better. Yeah, that's considerably better healing, honestly. I guess Rubo's not a bad healer on his own. Always giving him flack for being a bad character, but... That heal beam is actually, like... Bad. Pretty low on the MP, you know. One. That's with the stud on, but... Actually, that might be the most efficient healing spell on its own, if you, if you have the Golden Stud. Perhaps. I feel like I'm missing secrets. Hey, hold on, just, just one second here. Where is that thingamajigger? off the register. Huh, I must be, like, we're basically done this area. What did I, what did I miss it? Um. Oh, it's in the warp point puzzle. I was supposed to take, at the very end, the rightmost um, warp to get the armor. Oh shoot. Because this will be the end of the dungeon, right there. Alright, I wonder if we can still go back. Uh, we just have to get electrocuted a little bit here. It's cool guys, don't worry about the frog getting electrocuted. He's into it. So... Um, shoot, whatever, it's fine. It's probably faster anyway. Let me just, uh, zip through this real fast. Um, don't mind this. It's been like 40 minutes. You know what? Um, because this episode's already gonna be quite long and I'm already now backtracking. Well, let's just see for sure if I even can still get to the right side or if we have to do that when the party splits. I'm pretty sure they'll let us go back. Probably. Yeah, I should have known it would be the teleporting maze that I missed something on. Alright, they do let us back in here. Okay, so we can do this quick. I'll even speed it up a little bit for you guys. 
So we went through all the paths on this one. Oh, it was the right path I needed, right? Yeah. Okay, so right. And then... Pretty sure you want to take this one. And then there's left, I think we took. No, we never went this way before. So that was wrong. And that just took us back. Okay. Right. All the way across. Down. Right. Treasure! There it is. Okay, good. We didn't want to miss that. So, the regal plate. What does it do? Well, it's actually not that amazing, but it's got a lot of physical defense. Um, if you didn't have max stamina and magic defense, I guess it'd be better significantly. So, like, if we put it on, say, Marl, who... Well, she's got the regal gown. Um, actually, I wonder if we can... It's like, men only, actually. Yeah, so, like, Magus, you can see... It gives him that plus 10 stamina, which is considered plus 10 defense. So even though the Shadow Plume actually has lower base defense than the re uh, the Regal Plate has lower base defense than the Shadow Plume, it adds up more. If Magus hits 99 stamina, then this will actually lower his defense. And then everyone's basically capped on magic defense anyway. But, uh, if somehow you got here without matching, maxing your ma magic defense, but I don't think it's all that good, unfortunately. I mean, six more defense than the Nova Armor. Three more than the Moonbeam. That's not... It's not enough to really... Well, you can get up to 226 plus six, so 228. That's eh, not that impressive. It's impressive as you get very close to 255, because then physical defense gets dropped down to like 1% and you don't take any damage at all. But that's not gonna happen here. Alright, good enough. Let's continue on. There is still one more weapon in here. But I believe it's... Well, either the guide's wrong or it's like right by the end. I should probably just cut the video, but... I decided I didn't want to cut it. So we're just gonna hang in there together. I'm gonna go quick... You know... Maybe one of these days we'll see Robo pull off one of that. <laughs> Did you guys catch it? It's pretty awesome. You know what? Well, we'll probably get a save point, honestly. I was, I was thinking, like, I should just use a Mega Elixir here. Let's just, um... Give these guys a little bit of MP in case there's an emergency. And, uh... Robo is, like, a really good healer right now, so... We'll heal up. Work, you can kind of get lazy at this point in the game. You've got so many elixirs and mega elixirs. Um, you could just use those to heal for the rest of the game and you'd never run out, I figure. But um, that's lazy. Alright, now we're just going to run through here again quick. Fine. Oh, these guys are going to respawn as well. That's annoying. Well, I'm glad I uh, restocked my. Um... Oh, that's right. These things make it really annoying to fight. I gotta say. Um. It still doesn't actually do that much damage. It's just annoying because I basically have to use a dual tech. That's actually doing a lot of damage, isn't it? Like... Alright, alright, hold on. I was rushing through all that, but... These fights, you actually can't just skim right through. I'm about to lose the whole party and die. I'm trying to go fast. Fine, let's just burn through more MP. Make sure this guy... It's funny, his self-destruct does a lot less damage than his regular attack. Hey, that one didn't respawn the enemy. This guy again, alright. Well, we're just gonna... We're just gonna frog flare it. And I guess we'll go electrocutes. Oh, 
Uh, maybe we can kill him before I have to start healing. Now, if they both do that, we're in trouble. Alright, good. Frog Flare does seem pretty awesome. All right. So, I have a feeling that this is the end of the area. Yeah. Same kind of look that we had last time. There's probably an area to use a shelter coming up so we can hold off. There we go. I mean, it's the same as a Mega Elixir, but they're cheaper. <laughs> All right, so. Just because we're at the end and we're gonna have some stuff to steal, I need to switch the party up a little bit here. Um, so honestly, I was mostly just bringing Robo so that we could show off a couple, uh, a couple of his techs before we get to the end of the, the final end of the game. Um, we need Ayla for stealing. I, I kind of like Frog. Frog's pretty cool. I like... Okay, and we have to keep Luca for reasons, so we'll go with this party. It's also kind of damp. Could bring... Nah, nah, Frog will be fine. You'll see. Alright, so each of our three main characters have had a special confrontation. And this here is Lucas. So yeah, we can switch the party up again, but I think this will be fine. Even if Chrono is technically stronger than Frog, it's no big deal. Pretty sure that's not the real move. What's this? I don't remember what this does. Robotic mine? Oh, we'll figure it out. Uh, this actually would probably be a good opportunity to use water magic. Uh, I should have brought, like... Well, I needed Ayla to steal stuff. If you could do ma if you could do water damage in the tech... Like, uh... I guess... Yeah, Marl would be good. Maybe Marl instead of Frog, because you need to have Glacial Toss. That might be better. Because it gets all turned to fire with uh, Luca plus Frog. Anyway, first up, we got a Bastille. And we've got an ex Egg Exterminator. Ah, uh, it did not work, unfortunately. So we don't have our Alluring Top or our um, Dual Tech with, uh, with Marl here. So this might be a little bit more of a pain. Shadow Fire. This might not be the best group for this. I was thinking Frog would be a good one, but I, I forgot that, like, all of his combos with Luca are fire-based, and that really doesn't help in this situation against someone who's immune to fire, I think. Alright, we got the Nova Armor. I think that's all we can get on this fight. Let me just double-check here again. Sorry. Uh, yeah, that's all there is. So that's, that's the... I guess if there's a, a fight to skip Ayla, this is it. The Nova Armor is nice, but it's not a big deal. All right, so unfortunately, our best water tech is probably like water too, and that's not very amazing. Yeah, that does not do very much damage. I bet you something like Glacial Toss would have worked really well. So status element still getting annoying. Um, Yeah, unfortunately, I mean, I can try Frog Flare, Frog Flare, that is, but I bet you this won't be that impressive. Yeah, I mean, good damage to the Exterminator thing. Maybe we should just try to kill it anyway, and then, uh... It's already out of MP, dang it. Yeah, and unfortunately, Bubble Burst, I don't believe, will count as water. All right, well, let's just have her attack regularly. And uh, Frog had to do almost nothing anyway. And it just drains her MP even worse. All right. Okay, I didn't prep for this battle terribly well. My bad. 
I didn't think it through. I mean, on the plus side, um, my Luca will also not be taking hardly any damage. So the Exterminator is what's countering with Osmos, specifically. Luca, and evil Luca is not. Now that she's dead, we don't have to worry about that. Let's go with uh, Slurp Kiss because it's amazing. Probably not much. Oh, I could have gone with like protect and all that. Yeah, well. So there's probably not much Luca can do on her own. Oh, it's actually not the worst. So now fire is out. So basically, our only dual tech is like an Ayla bubble burst combo. It's the only dual tech that will do anything, I guess. I'm pretty sure Luca. And evil Luca, anyway, is weak to, um... It's weak to water magic, you know. You know as you do. Maybe we'll just check physical. You know what? Physical might be the way to go here, because we don't have any really amazing dual techs for... Like, the first time in a very long time. And, maybe... You know, enemy Luca should have low physical defense, right? Because Luca, you know, that's the rule. That's the rule. So yeah, if you brought uh, Robo, uh, you might have a chance of just getting a crit that did 10,000 damage, basically. And given the lack of damage we're doing to Luca, that would certainly speed it up. But then again, I think the base crit chance is something like 10 or so percent, so... You know, it might take a while. <laughs> there you go, Luca. Flame on. So that's a plus three um, speed bonus there, in case you're wondering. So now, she's got, for me anyway, um, quite a lot of speed without having to equip anything. So I gave her a bunch of speed tabs, but um, it's pretty cool, right? It's pretty cool. So I guess that's probably going to wrap up this episode. There is a new area we can go to somewhere. Um, kind of special. Maybe we can talk about it at the end of time. Now my guide for this section suggested there's another um, weapon, but I think it is not in this area. No, I don't want to spoil it, but um, let me just quickly double check here. Yeah, you don't get this weapon until later. I do want to show that off. Okay, so we've gotten pretty much everything then, I think. So let me see if I can remember without looking up specifically how to even access the final section. I think it's from the end of time. But I could be wrong. Oops. I feel like when you select the end of time, it should just... You shouldn't ask you if you want to get off. It should just pop you down by the old man. Oh, hey, yeah, he wants to talk, huh? So that's the chick. Gotta come back here talk to the old man. Ah, uh, just one or two. What you mean? Oh! Darkened the borders of Time's Eclipse. Hmm, interesting. And loneliness, did you catch that? You think Lavos is lonely? Might be something else involved. So yeah, we're gonna uh, deal with that next episode. And that may be Time's Eclipse indeed. So, I'll prep my party up, and next episode we will go back into the bucket. Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed. Um, I guess we didn't really get anything super amazing in that dungeon. Some average armor and a, a robo-weapon for a character I'm probably not going to use. Oh well. 
Anyway, see you guys next time for possibly the last episode. Aww.